VA pension is a needs-based benefit paid to wartime veterans that meet certain age or non-service connected disability requirements. Okay, so to, to be eligible for VA pension, there are two categories that a veteran would need to meet. There are service requirements uh, in addition to disability requirements. Uh, generally, for service requirements, they would have served 90 days of active military service with at least one day during a period of war. If they enter service after September 7th of 1980, they would have served a continuous uh, period of 24 months with one day during a period of war uh, or for the entire time for which they were called for duty. The disability requirements uh, that they have to meet would be 65 years of age or older. They would be deemed permanently and totally disabled. They would have been a receipt of Social Security disability or deemed disabled by Social Security or they would be a patient in a nursing home receiving skilled nursing home care. There are several ways that veterans can apply for VA pension benefits. They can visit our website, which, which gives them additional information. They can call our reps at our toll-free number. Uh, they can assist them. Or if they must have someone to help them, uh, we would suggest that they uh, seek assistance from a VA accredited representative uh, who is there to assist them. Uh, what we want to just communicate is that they don't have to pay to apply for benefits that are there for them that they've earned with their service. Pension poaching can be best described as someone assisting veterans with applying for benefits. However, uh, their intentions are to move around assets uh, for those that actually don't qualify. Um, and what it does, they charge absorbent fees uh, that's associated with this, uh, which is another way to identify that's associated with pension poaching. And the problem with it, it can backfire uh, to the potential beneficiaries because uh, they may have their assets held up uh, in trusts or uh, annuities uh, for decades uh, and in order to get access to them they may have very very enormous fees associated with that uh, and then another problem with the backfire is that they it may disqualify them for uh, being eligible for Medicaid benefits uh, and uh, that can be a problem because it, it could be at a time where they really have long-term care costs uh, that they can't afford and uh, and we, so we just wanted to know that if you qualify for these benefits, we, we, they are here for you. Uh, but if someone is trying to have you move assets around, then that is a red flag that you need to pay attention to.